What's it a sign of? What's the purpose of the sign? Why is it given? It is a sign that God will make you, that God will win the victory for you. That God will heal your heart. That God will take away your fear. That God will write his law in your heart and mind. It's a sign. That he will deliver us from fear and restore us to righteousness. Deliver us from fear and selfishness. Restore us to righteousness. Do you understand better Jesus' words in Matthew 2, excuse me, Mark 2, 27? The Sabbath was made for man, not man for the Sabbath. Recognize this weekly sign as evidence of God exists and is real. He governs reality, including time. He is creator and recreator, meaning healer. His laws are design laws. He is faithful. He keeps his promise. He's active in healing and making, making us holy. Understand that the weekly Sabbath is evidence of all this because there is no reason for the seven-day weekly cycle except creation. Every other astro- me- measurement of time that we have are astronomical. But the seven-day weekly cycle, it exists because God created the world There's no naturalistic, godless explanation for it. And every society in the history of the world has a seven-day weekly cycle. Mm -hmm. It's evidence. It's a sign. And what does the Sabbath day itself signify in this weekly cycle? This weekly cycle, every seven days comes the sign. Every seven days you pass through it. What's it signify? It is a sign that God is creator... And what type of law does creation operate upon? Design laws that are supreme law being love. That truth, God revealed truth all week long, giving evidence in history, how reality works, historical. And then God rested, again, giving history of how he operates. He presents truth in love, creates time for free thinking. The Sabbath is a sign of God's governance, how he runs. It's not declarative. It's evidence-based revelation that you are to weigh and understand and choose. Do I want to live in a kingdom in which the creator creates life to operate in perfect harmony and love, the principles of giving, he reveals truth, and he actually gives real freedom to think? The Sabbath is a sign of all of these things. And thus, it calls us to surrender our economics to him. Don't do your work on Sabbath. Don't try to get ahead. Don't try to make money. Rest in me. I'll provide for you. To exercise those abilities he's given you to trust him so your faith may grow and your confidence may grow. Do you see the weekly Sabbath as a sign? An evidence he's given you to be confident as the powers attack that he has overcome the world? Or do you see it as an obligation, a rule that you must keep in order to be holy? And if you see it as a rule that you'll be punished if you don't keep, whose system are you in? Our gracious Father in heaven, we thank you so much for all that you have provided for us, for your beauty of character, for for the way that your kingdom gives and gives and gives, and how you reveal truth and love and leave us free, and the evidences and the sign that you've given us, this weekly sign in time. Help us understand and comprehend it through your design law. And help us be to come out of the system of Babylon, the system of imperialism, and to be freed from the powers of this world. That we can trust you at this time in history and give a message that will help bring other people out as well. That they can experience your presence, the cleansing of their spirit temple, and become bright lights in a dark world. We pray in your holy name. Amen.